okay so this <clears throat> this wire always stays here right um until we start pairing our next channel and so essentially the test you're gonna do is one pair two pairs three pairs four pairs five pairs um after five twisties right you're gonna uh, want to go and try to pair another sixth pair because you found a beep right but the one two three four five you stop there you find your next beep on this side this is very crucial and i'm testing it a million times to make sure it's that wire because i've gotten to the end before and it wasn't the wire it was like a false beep sometimes it'll do that okay so once you have that You're gonna take this off, or try to. Come on, baby, come on. Might be a good idea to get some clamps in the future. This multimeter, dude, is like fucking, has done a solid six years of PEMF, bro. Straight. <laughs> Look at this fucking thing, dude. It's, it's gone through the fucking wars. Girlfriends, this thing is like, I probably my most ancient item I own. <clears throat> um, anyway, so the negative that you took off from here at the bottom that I told you never to take off until we pair the next channel, and that last beeped wire, you want to take these both, both of these wires, this is what I do, and you just want to temporarily for now, temporarily for now, Get them out of the way. I just get them out of the way. <laughs> just get them out of the way. Like I said, we're gonna be putting hot glue in this whole area here. Very, very important step. If you do not do this, it will not be two channel. You take the pigtails and then you twist them in reverse directions. If you do not do that, it will not work. So here at this point, I'm gonna start heating up my hot glue gun. We're gonna put a dab of hot glue here, but what you can expect to see for the next step is picking one random wire. And like I did from the very beginning, I'm sure I could pick a light colored wire, but I always like to do it the way I did it on the first channel. Just pick one random wire. That's gonna go to your black lead. Make sure you grab your black lead, although I think it works in other directions, but still don't want to do anything different than um, what we did before. So that is for sure my black lead. Go ahead and sand that tip off. Let me do that real quick. Very important step. As you can see, I found my beeping wire on the right side only only one of them will beep at a time, but this one's beeping because I've already started pairing it. But yeah, you essentially find the beep on the right side, then you pick one random wire and merge it, and you leave that enamel. Now this is very important. Um, none of these wires should be beeping. This is an independent highway, an independent ro road, an independent railroad for the frequency to travel through its own circuitry through the star. This is its individual activated star part of the coil um, circuit. <laughs> and um, this is the beginning of a new channel, so nothing should ever beep. If something beeps up here, you're fucked. It's, it's just something went wrong along the process and pretty much the only thing to do at this point would be to trash the whole project honestly yeah i'd be done at that point you would just start out with a new frame um new coil new circuitry i mean there's no way that ripping apart all this glue the frame's not you know gonna break or something or the coil's gonna tear absolutely, and then the coil's gonna have all these key. No way, bro. No way. I would. Your it's gonna it would be quicker. <laughs> but this is the stuff I've gone through, guys, to get get here over the years. So I'm saving you guys a lot of shit, a lot of shit. So yeah, let's get that first pair. 
Always just pick a random one from the left side to the beep of the right side right. Very simple, you guys are very smart. I also have pairing videos of the Tauruses, uh, which are a similar pairing system. So if I left something out or if you had extra questions, drop it in the comments below. I'll try to get, uh, get back to you or go watch the donut version. But let's see, I wanna actually give you guys a take of what's happening here. Bring it to the middle. Double test. Like I said, I don't sand off my tips, so I have to get right on there. And then it's kind of funny. For every like light-colored wire I find a beat for, I pick a brown. But it works anyway. It'll work any other way. It creates its own circuitry as long as nothing up there is beeping with the channel below that you're creating. And like I said, I like to just, before I start sanding anything, starting to get that one inch of enamel. As you can see, if anything wasn't enameled at that uh, neck point, it would just not work. <laughs> and you'll find that out later if you make that mistake, hopefully not. Double test, it's working, okay. Well, to be honest with you guys, I need to get this shit done. I'm gonna do the same thing. The cool thing about, I'm gonna pair this, sand it, can't do it with one hand. Put it down there like that, that would be two pairs. I'm gonna go over here, beep, bring that wire to the middle, bring a wire over here, one random one, leave the one inch of enamel, do a good job sanding it, test it, beep, nothing up here should beep. You know, the cool thing about this, uh, my, my biggest recommendation is test, test, test. Always look for the beep. Right? And then on, on to the next. Also, shit, this was a good one. Um, this part's really cool because the pairing is almost done at this point. Um, you know what I mean? I guess that was all audio. That was all blurry. The pairing's almost done at this point. And um, you start running out of wires to have to find for that beep. So it just gets easier and quicker to go and find the wires and the beep. And very simple. I mean, if you guys are electricians and welders. You guys are going to crank this shit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did up here and get my five pairs, and I'll tune in with you guys here soon.